Hello, and thank you for joining me for another video. This is part two of three, all about micro bits. Now, if you missed the last video, I highly recommend you go back and watch that video. I will link to it below. It is a basic unboxing and setup and a quick explanation of what micro bits is. This is the micro bit that we're going to be working on. Uh, so I set it up, unboxed it, everything in that last video. Today's video is called micro bits and raspberry Pi. Now I've got a raspberry Pi. I'm going to connect it to my micro bit. Last video, I used my laptop computer and I was able to run and load programs onto my micro bit using my laptop computer. In this video, I'm taking my Raspberry Pi and using that instead of my laptop computer to run programs on my micro bit. This is going to be a lot of fun. This is going to be a little bit different from the last time. This is going to be a little bit slightly more advanced because there will be a setup with the Raspberry Pi. Now let's get started. The materials you'll need for this project, you'll need an HDMI monitor, you'll need your Raspberry Pi, power cable, HDMI connection. This is my dongle for my mouse and keyboard. You'll need your micro bit, of course. You'll need the cable, the micro USB cable that connects to your Raspberry Pi, and it's gonna connect up just like that. Now, optional materials you may want to use that I'll be using in this tutorial. You'll need some jumper cables that have alligator clips attached. Now this does not come with the kit. I did purchase this separately. I will link to that below. Optionally need a resistor and a red LED or actually any color LED. I have put these on my breadboard here. I had one handy. Uh, also not required as well but I will be covering this in the video today. Now in this video, we are starting with a fresh Raspbian operating system install on the Raspberry Pi. Now, if you don't have Raspbian operating system, a fresh, you know, latest copy Raspbian operating system on your Raspberry Pi, I highly recommend you do that first before starting on the steps from this video. If you don't know how to install Raspbian, on your Raspberry Pi, you're not familiar with it, I do have a Raspbian Raspberry Pi setup video also posted on my channel. I will link to that below. This video assumes, number one, that you watch the basics of Microbit, and number two, you have the Raspbian operating system loaded on your Raspberry Pi and you're going to connect it to your micro bit. Um, from my Raspbian system, I'm going to open a web browser and I'll show you what we're doing here. From here, I'm gonna type in microbit.org. And this is the website that I referred to in the first video. This is where you can find a lot of tutorials and guides and setup on the microbit system. Now I'm going to go to ideas and then I will hit Raspberry Pi. And this will take me to the Raspberry Pi page or show me the projects for Raspberry Pi. I'm gonna scroll down and there are several projects for Raspberry Pi. Now this is at the time of the, of this recording. If you're watching this later, there might be more projects available to you. And let's see, there is Raspberry Pi plus Microbit, Python, Make Code, Taking Selfies. We will cover Taking Selfies in next week's video. That will be advanced and a lot of fun. This week's video is going to be Raspberry Pi plus Microbit getting started. I'm going to click on that. It's actually taking me to the raspberrypi.org page and it's showing me a tutorial on how to set up the micro bit with my Raspberry Pi and it goes into what I will make and what I will learn. Essentially, I need to install an application called MU on my Raspberry Pi to get started and I will need my micro bit, the cable that connects it. So let's get started installing the software that might take a few minutes and I'm going to click on the terminal and I'm going to do sudo apt get update. And this might take a few minutes to update everything on the Raspberry Pi. And this is just good practice if you have, have a Raspberry Pi to do an update on it. All right, well, that did not take as long as I thought it was going to be. Uh, apparently it was already updated. So now I need to do a sudo app get install mu-y. I'm gonna right click, hit copy, go back to my terminal, right click, hit paste, or you could just type in. And that's gonna take a couple of minutes. We're going to be installing the mu application on our Raspberry Pi and I'll be right back. And we just completed installing mu into our Raspberry Pi. 
and these are the terminal commands. Now I'm going to click getting started with micro bit and it's going to start MU. It's giving some instructions on how to start MU. You do want to plug this in, but let's go ahead and follow the instructions. I'm clicking on the Raspberry drop down, then I go to programming, and then hopefully for you, MU, the application, it wasn't there before, it is there now after this installation. I'm gonna click on that and hopefully we are starting up at the MU. Now I'm gonna select BBC micro bit and I'm gonna click OK. I'm gonna click on REPL. So that is the next instruction in this tutorial. We've got a new menu, then we plug in our micro bit, as you see here on my screen, use MU, and then it goes through all of the menu options, new load. So this is similar if you're used to Microsoft products, for example, Microsoft Word or PowerPoint, Excel, you open a program, you load something, you save it. What is different is there is something called flash and this is how we're going to flash our code onto our micro bit. And then REPL is actually, if you wanna do something real time, you wanna push some code to your Raspberry Pi without having to first flash it, REPL is a way to do it. Not everything can be done by REPL, but we're going to try that out first. And so I'm gonna click using the REPL, and I'm just going through the tutorial here, and you can do this on your own at home. I can uh, try this out. So I'm gonna right click, hit copy, and then go to MU, and I'm gonna try this. Let's see if this works. I'm gonna paste, right click, paste. If you look at my um, other camera here, look at my screen, uh, you'll see it said whoop whoop. Okay, let's try this again. That, that went kind of fast. Copy, paste, and hopefully it will say whoop whoop on my, there it is, and it's going. And that is one way that we can uh, put code onto our micro bit. So this is different from what you saw last week with our laptop computer. On the laptop computer, you had to create your code, then you had to save your code, then you had to download a file, then you had to upload it to your micro bit. Now you can real time use something called REPL and you can see your results immediately. We're not gonna be doing REPL most of the time, but that was a quick demo of how REPL works. I'm gonna close out REPL, so all you, it's a toggle, so I'll just click REPL again. And let's keep on going in writing and pushing code to our micro bit. Now, this is a set of code. I'm gonna hit copy and it says while true, if button A is pressed, it's gonna say A pressed. If button B is pressed, it's gonna say B pressed. Okay, excellent. And then you're gonna call the file whatpress.py. Okay, so let's get back to Mu. It says write your code here. I'm gonna paste the code. You're gonna to wanna to save this and please do note where you're saving things just so that you can go back to it. Or pressed py and then let's go back here and then now I'm gonna hit flash not find attached micro bit uh oh so let me try this again I'm gonna eject this replug that in there okay now it's detected my device you hit cancel that is the pop-up you're supposed to get this is the program that I created last episode on my channel it is a clock I thought that'd be kind of fun and I'm gonna hit flash now and you'll see it go away let's see if the new code works and the way it works is if I press button a which is over here it should say a pressed Oh, look at that. It works. And that was the button A was pressed. Now I'm going to hit button B. And now it says button B pressed. Excellent. And that's how it works. That is essentially how you use your Raspberry Pi with your micro bit. I think that was a lot of fun. Uh, let's keep on going with this tutorial here. Let's look at some of the things that uh, we learned in the last video. So if button A is pressed, we can say, hello, Caroline. And then if button B is pressed, we can say, hi, YouTube, hi, YouTubers. So that's something we can easily change. I'm gonna hit save course, and then I'm gonna hit flash. And I've copied the code onto the micro bit. Let's see if it works. If I press A, it says, hello, Caroline. And you notice how fast this is that we can quickly try out new code on our micro bit versus last week when we did this on our computer, we created the code, we downloaded it, and then re-uploaded it onto our computer. Now I press button B and it says, hi youtubers and then i think last week i also showed you where you could see all of the different options for code that you could use the same thing as what you saw last week in terms of the syntax for the code growbit.org review that just let's code and i'm going to hit reference on the python editor this is python it's a great way to learn python and let's see there is a guide and images and buttons view the images section 
and it gives you uh, all different kinds of things you can try out. Let's try that. I'm going to copy and paste, display show happy, copy, I'm going to go into here. If button uh, is pressed, display, I'm going to delete that, and I'm going to put display show image happy, and I'm going to save that. I'm going to flash that, and the code has been copied to my micro bit, so let's press A. And there's my happy. There are different things I would encourage you to try out. Image, sad, confused, angry. I created that clock Python code last week. There are just a ton of different options and you can rapidly deploy using your Raspberry Pi onto your micro bit. Move on from this. We're gonna go back to the tutorial. Okay, and we are going to try out this LED tutorial now. So if you have an LED and a resistor, you can do this project. If you don't have that, don't worry about it. You can just watch it on my channel here. Hopefully this will work. Let's hook this up right now. So I'm going to hook up the red to the zero and the black to the ground. And then according to the diagram, I'm going to hook one end up to the resistor and then the ground will go to the other side. The positive terminal of the LED is going into the resistor. Technically, you could do this without the resistor, but it might make it really bright or it might just blow out your LED. Bigger resistor you put in, the more ohms you put in, the d dimmer your LED will be. We're going to continue with this tutorial here. So they gave you the code. The code is shake equals false while true. And I'm going to copy this code over to my editor. Here it is, uh, micro bit import, shake false while true. If shake, then we're going to write digital pin one and then else write digital pin zero, display clear. Um, basically, so if you shake it, the, the light should come on. I'm going to save this file and then flash this file. And let's see, let's see if it works. So I'm gonna shake it and I see this comes up and then my uh, red LED just turned on and it's going to be on for 500 seconds. So it determined that I did shake. Uh, so there it went off and I'll shake it again and then the red LED comes on. The square display image square uh, shows on my micro bit and then the red LED turns on. Once that 500, that sleep 500 completes, then the light will go off. And that is the very simple tutorial that is really cool that you can do here with your micro bit and your Raspberry Pi. Next week, we're adding on a camera. We're gonna do micro bit selfies. Next week, you will need a Raspberry Pi camera. You will need the ribbon cable that connects your Raspberry Pi camera to your Raspberry Pi. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope to see you next week. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye now.